Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome. Now, today I'm going to take a walk around and a drive off this uh, Rover P5B Coupe. Um, I think this is a 1969 model that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of starting and idling action at the beginning of the driving video. Hope you like them. Okay, so we'll look around this uh, 69, I think this one. Um, Rover P5B Coupe, 3.5 automatic, as they are from the factory. Um, this one's got a burgundy roof, obviously the proper Ross style wheels on it. Like most of them, it's lost its um, stainless steel trims on the, uh, the sills. Jacking points are still in place though. Um, a presentable car, shall we say. The paintwork is a little bit workmanlike on it in one or two areas, and the chrome on the rear bumper is pretty horrible. In fact, it looks like it's been uh, painted in silver hammerite. But um, interior is nice. Panel fits generally pretty good. And the, uh, the V5 shows it's only had three owners from you. So we'll take a closer look around it. Um, I think a fair amount of the paint is possibly original, but I, you know, I can't be absolutely sure on that one. Um, front bumper chrome is a bit pitted here and there, but generally reasonable. Bonnet has got a couple of touched in areas up here. And in fact, the bonnet sits very, very slightly higher than perhaps it should. So I chat test drove it the other day and I haven't cleaned it subsequently. Um, bit of corrosion just there under the near side indicator unit. It has been fitted with splash guards um, up under all four arches, which has, uh, I think, probably helped to preserve it. Um, wheels are in reasonable shape. They are tinged a bit with red. Someone has gone a bit mad with the red paint under bonnet and uh, on the wheels and stuff. But um, <laughs> each to their own. Still on jacking point there. Standard spec internally, it has got a modern DAB stereo in it though. Paint on the roof, it could be better. Bit of an amateur job. It's been sprayed at least, but uh, it's a bit orange peely. A bit streaky. Near side door, it's all reasonably good. And then here, interior-wise, passenger door card looks to be in good shape. That's the A post. Now, someone is also in the front, not in the back, but in the front has um, upgraded, if that's the right word, the walnut trim to sort of a, a burr walnut effect. You may like it, you may not, but that's, um, that's what it is. But they've left the back alone. Um, seats unusually haven't torn on the seams. Armrest is in place. All the dash is all as it should be. And there's your headlining. So it's got the front headrests in it. Look at the B post. Near side rear door's got a touched in chip just there. Uh, but again, panel fit reasonably good. Side rear door card. As you can see, that's the original type wood there. There's the C and D posts. And again, in here, it's in very good order in there, in the back. Possibly a bit of brush painting has just gone on just here. Um, but the rear seams all look reasonably good. And around the arch, as I say, it has got splash guards fitted to it. Bit of a mark just there where the bumpers obviously dug into the rear wing at some point and we've got a small hole in the mazak on the rear light unit funny enough the mazak on the doors and the light units apart from that is actually pretty good we've talked about the rear bumper it's not not great um boot lid has lost a bit of paint just there but it's um not bubbling around the bottom corner As I say, I suspect a fair amount, of, well, at least some of the paint on this is original, shall we say. Again, bit of touching up gone on down there. 
wing seam. Looking down the offside again, looks the panel fit looks excellent. It just seems to be quite an honest car. Bit of a bit of paint loss just there. Um, offside rear arch, again a little bit of bubbling just there, and a little bit on the offside rear door just there, and a couple of touched in chips down there. Here, door cards in good shape. All looks as it should in there. So we have got a big chunk of paint that's come off just there. In fact, I think that's just done that. Huh, marvellous. Big chunk of paint just come off the offside front wing, just there. <laughs> yes, in fact, it's on the floor. I wonder if we can stick that back on. Wouldn't be a great idea, but at least we'll grab it. Ah, oh. <laughs> would you believe it? That's the bit of paint. Um, offside front door. Uh, offside front wing. I see someone's uh, painted over the little chrome bit here for the uh, wiper to sit on. Let's put this piece of paint away somewhere. safely in the car. There we go. Driver's door card has obviously been recolored um, and it's got a poor repair just there but uh, driver's seat is in reasonable shape. Small repair just down in the corner there. Showing 98,000 miles whether that's correct or not is anybody's guess. But uh, yeah, so it's just a you know it's a usable P5B coupe. Anyway, hope you like it.